This video describes the workflow and features of Dellworks version 3.0. In this video, we will review auto accept workflow with modality work list, manual patient registration and adding exams, acquiring images, cropping annotations and other imaging tools, pick tool processing, adding additional views, rejecting and restoring images, sending completed studies to PACS, review screen functions and printing, and logging out of Dellworks. Let's get started. Dellworks is highly customizable and can be configured differently depending on the needs of your practice. This video will explain auto accept workflow. Let's get started by logging into Dellworks. If you already have a username and password, go ahead and type that in. If not, select Technologist and type in the word Tech, lowercase. First, I will describe how to start a patient if you have a modality work list or predefined study list. If your facility has modality work list and the application specialist has mapped the exams to your procedure codes, all you have to do is double-click on the patient's name to start the exam. If you do not have a predefined study list or modality work list in your facility, I'll now show you how to manually enter a patient and add their exams. From the study list, click New Patient. Enter the patient's name. Enter the patient's ID. Enter their date of birth, starting with the year. Select their gender. And then click Add Views. Select the body region for the study that you wish to perform. Then click on the study you wish to perform. Now click on the arrow to start the exam, or click Add to Study List to add another study for that patient or to perform the study later. Acquiring images from the acquisition screen. We can now click on the view we want to start with first. Verify or modify our workstation. Modify our generator settings if needed for patient size. Position our patient and make our exposure. After a few seconds, the image will be displayed in the small thumbnail. If no changes are needed at this time, you can select the next view and repeat the steps. Verify your workstation. Modify your technique if needed for patient size. Position your patient and make your exposure. If no additional views or changes to the images are needed, click the close button to send the images to PAX. The study will be closed, images sent, and now we are ready for our next patient. Next, we'll review the tools needed to modify your image, such as cropping, annotations, and other imaging tools. Double click on the image that you'd like to modify. To adjust the shutter, drag the blue lines in or out. To add a text annotation, click on one of the predefined markers and then drag it into the desired position. To add free text, type in your annotation in the manual text entry box. 
Click on the T icon to set the annotation on the image and then drag it into position. Now we'll review some of the less commonly used tools. We can pan the image. We can zoom in or out. We can change the image display view, one-to-one -one or original size. We can rotate the image 90 degrees to the left or the right. We can flip the image horizontally or vertically. We can invert the image. or we can reset the image to its original state. On the right side of the screen, there are three additional tabs for modifying your image, Mark, Tools, and Process. Under the Mark tab, you can adjust the brightness and contrast of the image or add a text annotation. Under the Tools tab, we can also adjust the brightness and contrast of the image. We can add a predefined shutter size. We can remove that predefined shutter. We can save it, or we can remove the shutter altogether. We can also angle the image to the left or the right in increments which could be useful if your body part has been taken at an angle on the detector and you want to display it vertically or horizontally. We can also add a mask around the image. To do so, click on the mask icon and then click as many times as you need around the desired area on the image and double click where the two lines join to apply the mask. To remove the mask, click on the mask icon again. Less commonly used tools are available under the processing tab. You can adjust brightness and contrast. You can change the image processing algorithm used. Apply a lookup table. Reprocess the body part as a different body part. Redefine the processing curve or reset the processing curve. Or click the pick tool for enhanced image processing. The new PIC tool improves visualization of tubes, lines, and leads by applying an enhanced processing algorithm, which is especially useful in mobile imaging. Click on the PIC tool to apply the enhanced processing. Click Save to create a new image with the PIC processing applied, or click Cancel to undo the PIC processing. After clicking save, we return to the acquisition screen and now we have two AP lumbar spines, one with the original processing and one with the new pick line processing. So both images can be sent to packs together. In the next section of this video, we will review adding additional views, rejecting or restoring rejected images. Click on the icon with the man and the plus to add an additional view. Select your region. Select the protocol that you want to add or click on the single man icon to see a list of the individual views in that body region and then select the view. Now click on the arrow. We've now added a lumbar spine oblique view and are ready to expose. 
If I want to make a copy of a view that I've already performed, I can click on the image and then click on the two image icon with the plus. And now I've created an additional AP lumbar spine view. If I want to delete a view that has not been used or reject an image that I don't want to send to PAX, click on the image and then click on the man with the X icon. Now I can enter a reject reason and confirm. If I decide that I want that image later, I can re-accept it by clicking on the image and then clicking on the icon with the check mark to restore or re-accept the rejected image and send it to PAX. Now we will review completing your study and sending your images to PAX. Once you've completed all of the views for your study, click the close button to send the images to PAX or to suspend the study and finish it later. Select suspend to not send the images to PAX and finish later or finish to complete the study and to send the images to PAX. We are now back at our study list ready to do our next patient. Next we will cover the review screen functions and printing images. Click on an image and click on the review screen button to open the image in the review screen. Some of the same tools from the QC screen are displayed here. Additionally, we can change the layout of the images. We can make additional image modifications by opening the QC screen. We can display the DICOM information of that image. We can create or add measurements. We can adjust the window level or brightness and contrast of the image, and we can remove the labels of the image. From this screen, we can also send the images individually to PAX or send the complete study to PAX. We can also print images from this screen by selecting the Print tab, defining the film layout, adding a film, deleting a film, changing the orientation from portrait to landscape. Defining a film size if more than one film size is available. Deleting an image, showing or hiding the label, and clicking print to print the images. And then click OK. Logging out of Dellworks. To log out or to shut down Dellworks, from the study screen select the Dellworks logo, then exit or log off, and then choose log off or shut down. Thank you for watching this instructional video on Dellworks 3.0 with AutoAccept Workflow.